All right, so in this part, we're going to just draw lines. We have spheres that are spawning into the ground. We need to draw some lines in between those spheres so um, we can, you know, mm, like give the user some visual feedback that this is the length um, that we are trying to measure. Okay, so to draw lines, we are going to use the line render component that comes with Unity. Um, this is a really powerful component and it has a lots of different features. Uh, as you can see in here, we're going to talk a little bit about it just in a bit. But uh, the, the one thing to notice here is the positions. This is the most important part, I'll say, um, because this is what basically represents the point. So this is point one or point zero, and this is point one. So we have two points currently in this uh, example scene, right? So if I now try to add a new point, as you can see, we now have a new point added into the position. So our logic is going to be adding more uh, point or no more positions into this positions array, right? So this is an array. And then when we add a new uh, position or new point into this array, the line renderer is automatically going to handle the drawing of the line, right? So you can see if I keep going, it's just keeps adding line and it, it it basically joins the last point with the new point so if i add a new one so we have this point like point 10 and point 11 that are basically uh, creating this line right so there is some other um, options in the line render as well for example the width the color you can play around with it we're going to use the positions the width and maybe in future we are going to need the color uh, all the other controls we don't need that at this moment so how do you start so the first thing we need to do obviously is to create a line renderer uh, so i'm going to right click on the hierarchy and then go to effects and we can find line and I'm going to just name it line, that's all good. Now one thing you need to make sure is that the position has to be, you know, in zero, zero, zero. Uh, sometimes if it's behind the camera, you might not be able to see it. So make sure that you have your transform into the right position, okay? Um, next up, we are going to change the size to zero because the size, will be added from the script. We're not going to add any size uh, in the li line render upfront, right? So when we have a point, we change the size to something like one, and then we add a new point, change the points location and so on and so forth. So we're going to handle this from script. The width is 0.1, it's good for me as at this moment, you can maybe make it to point. Yeah, I think this is all good. It doesn't have to change it. So all the default control stays and we are going to need a script. So let's right click on your asset folder and create a new folder and name it scripts. All right. And then we are also going to create a new C sharp script that we are going to name as line manager. Okay. So we are going to need the reference to the line renderer that we are using to draw the lines. So we are going to create this new public variable that is going to hold the line renderer. We are also going to create a public or private method called draw line. So this is where we are going to do all our uh, logics. And then we can simply delete the update because we are not going to need that. All right, so the idea here is that we have a AR placement interactable. And you can see there is a event here that says object placed, right? So um, this event is basically triggered uh, by Unity's uh, like this AR placement interactable script whenever we place a object into the uh, ground, right? So when this placement prefab is placed into the ground, this event will be triggered automatically, all right? So we just need to have a listener to this event. So for that, we first need to uh, create a reference for the AR placement interactable, right? So when I do that, you can see there is an error because it's looking for a particular uh, namespace that's not in here. So I can go in here and I can just like include this particular namespace into my script. All right, now, like I said, there is a event 
into the AR placement interactable uh, that gives us the ability to uh, figure out when the object has been placed, right? So we are going to use that particular event. So that is called object placed. And we're going to add a listener and we're going to just pass the draw line method in here. So whenever the object is placed, we are going to call the draw line um, method. And it's going to take the parameter as you can see in here, AR object placement event arguments, right? So you can see it just in here. This is the parameter that is need to take. So let's go back to our script and we are going to add that. Awesome. All right, so let's remind you guys what we are basically planning to do. So when we are trying to draw a line, we are basically increasing the point count. So we have placed a point into the ground. So that means point goes plus plus. And let's do that actually. So point goes plus plus position count. That is the point inside inside the line renderer. And then also we are going to add that particular point um, into our line render, right? So how we do it in line render is basically setting up the position, right? So set position. So where do we set the position? The position is always going to be set where? So if we have only one uh, position, that means we are going to put our point into one minus one in the zero location. If I have two, then two minus one first position is going to be the position that we are going to place the point. If we have three, three minus one, two, right? So this is where we put our position value and so on and so forth. So um, that's exactly what we are going to do. Oops, sorry. Yeah, here. So uh, we are going to take the last index by taking the position count minus one. This is where we are going to put the um, point. And what is the point? The point is basically the location of the placement prefab, right? So you can just put the placement prefab uh, from the arguments. So arguments dot placement object dot transform dot position. So this is where we are going to put the position, uh, like put the point, right? So when we set the position, that's it. So now we have, uh, successfully created the line, right? Uh, this will work. Uh, all you need to do is basically, I don't know what I keep doing that. Um, we need to create a new game object and I'm going to call it line manager and drag and drop this in here. And finally, we need to drag and drop the line renderer, drag and drop the placement interactable. And that's all about it. Let's make a build and see if it's working. All right, so, all right. This is the moment of the truth. All right, guys, this is the moment of truth. Now I'm going to open up my Unity app and let's see if we scan, we try to, oops. We have the line, a little bit thick. That will work. So yeah, all you need to do now is simply uh, tweak the line a little bit so we can change the width to something like 0 0.05 and just play around with it, maybe 0 0.05, yeah. And you just play around with the width and you'll see it will come along really, really beautiful. So yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial where uh, we are going to basically uh, do the actual measurement. So we're going to show the number and see how, um, you know, how long a particular line is. I'll see you in the next tutorial.